Yankee Bravo Lima, clear touch and go, runway 14. In the NAV Canada building at the Edmonton International Airport is a certified air traffic control school, one of seven in Canada. It is a select group of students. Many may apply, but few get to this stage. Students ascend from classroom to simulators to an actual operational environment. Step to two, march around, expedite. It's a real challenge for people to train and, and slowly learn the skills that are required. Problem solving abilities, confidence, persistence, perseverance, the ability to work with people in a, in a team environment. Stay on the star. Roger, I'm at eight with United. You definitely have to be organized and also really diligent. Uh, it takes a lot of work inside the classroom as well as on your own time. We spend in generic uh, eight hours a day here at the school with an extra three to four hours every night studying for tests and airspace and just building the knowledge base that we need to continue on with the course. Students, like Chase and Christina, already have experience in the aviation industry. They appear to have the right stuff. Crane Air 034, contact me now, 13207. It's very much so a verbatim learning process. You need to know where those ands and ors are, where those commas are, because it does significantly change the meaning if you leave any of those things out. As you go through the different phases of what you're learning, it's very difficult in the beginning, and you start to kind of grasp it and understand it, and it gets a little bit easier, a little bit easier, and then boom, you're back to learning something new again. It can be very stressful at times, uh, but you learn to manage your stress. In this case, the students are talking to um, what we call OTS, they're Operational Training Specialists. So their job is to act as the airplanes on the other side of the room or the other side of the consoles. 55 at 90? 90K. We try to get it as close as we can to the actual operational environment. So they're learning to do the real thing even though it's a simulation. Very basic how to talk to an aircraft, how to issue um, some simple commands on how to climb, how to descend, how to turn, issuing a vector is turning certain degrees one way or the other way, understanding what heading he may be flying on now, um, understanding how he may need to speed up or slow down if he has other traffic and how he may interact with other traffic. Yeah, you'll have to see what the departure time is, respect Winnipeg, because mm -hmm. he might be okay. He might be a little bit under the 15 minutes Yeah, he there. might be under the 15 minutes, so. Okay. Once from there, we moved into a specialty. A specialty is made up of different airspace type or a uh, different skill set. Successful graduates move into a challenging and rewarding career. You're able to um, problem solve, and find new solutions every day, which makes the job challenging and fun. And I can't wait till the day that I get my own license. As an air traffic controller myself, I know how he feels. For GO, this is Kendra Kincaid.